Hi all, welcome to .NET Mom. This is my video series on WPF tutorials for beginners. In this video, we will learn how to create login form or login screen in WPF applications. This is my Visual Studio 2013 and we are going to make a login screen that looks exactly like this. First of all, let's create a WPF application. For that, go to File, then New, then Project. Select Windows under Visual C Sharp, then WPF application, then name your application here. I will name it as WPF Login Screen. Then select the location where you want to save this application, then click on OK. Here we have a brand new WPF application. In Solution Explorer, you can see a default window, the main window.xaml. And we will be using this main window as a dashboard in our application. In order to design a login screen like this, we will be creating another window. For that, right click on Project, then Add Window. I will name this window as Login Screen. Click on Add. Inside this login screen window, we will design a login form that looks like this. In the left panel, you can see the window preview according to the XML code in the right side panel. So here we have started the code with a window tag and first attribute is X colon class that is referring to the behind code behind class in our C sharp code. And you can see that here we have the XAML code inside this login screen.xaml and then below that you can see the file corresponding CS file. Inside that we will have our code behind C sharp code. Okay. So then we have two attributes with XMLN. Then we have title. Title is responsible for the window title. Right now it is login screen. I want to change that into login. In the same time, you can see that our preview is updated here. Then you can see height and width for this window. And I'm going to apply a font size for this window as 14. In our design, you can see that we have a greenish background color. For that, let me add background attribute here. It will set the form background color. I have the hexadecimal color code for this greenish color. Let me paste it here. So here you can see its uh, background color is changed. Then you can see a grid element. The grid are layout elements in WPF applications. Layout elements are used to arrange or group elements in WPF applications. Grid normally used to arrange elements in a tabular way like row and column. For this login window design, we are going to use layout element stack panel. Stack panel. Stack panel is used to arrange elements like racks in a shelf. It can be in horizontal orientation or in vertical orientation. By default, it is in vertical orientation and it will start from the top. First of all, we have a label showing login text. For that, I can add label here. Content will be login. So here you can see the label here. I want to change the foreground color for this label as white. And I will change the font size to somewhere 25. I want to change the horizontal alignment to center. So that's it. So in the design you can see a gap before this login text. For that I can add margin here. Margin for the stack panel. It will be 20. So the 20 margin will be applied in all four sides. 
before adding these remaining form elements i would like to add this corner shape border with background black for that we have to enclose this stack panel inside a border element select stack panel then right click then click on surround with or you can use the shortcut control ks then click on tag replace grid with border then set background to black for that i will paste the hexadecimal color code here then corner radius it will be 20 then margin 20 to be applied in all four sides now let's design the remaining part first of all we have a horizontal separator for that i will add a separator here after that we have label text box pair for username and password starting with label Content will be username, foreground color as white, next we need to add text box, its name will be txt username. Background color will be gray. For that, I will paste the hexadecimal color code here. Then foreground color to white. Then font size will be 18. Like this, we need one more label text box pair for password. For that, I will copy these two lines from here and pasting below that changing accordingly first label will be password then text box name will be txt password instead of text box we need password box here finally we need to add this submit button for that i will use a button element button name will be bt and submit background foreground and font size will be same as password box so i will copy and paste it here and we need to set the content it will be applied as the button text in this case it will be submit now we need to add margin for this button margin 60 from left and right 10 from top and bottom that's it now we are completed with this login screen design now if you run this application it will open main window instead of that we need to open login screen for that we have to edit app.xml change main window to login screen now if you run this application you can see the login screen now let's do the db part first of all i'm going to create a new database for that right click on databases then click on new database Then name your db here, I will name it as login db, then click on ok. Inside this db, I am going to create a new table to store credential details of user. For that, right click on tables, then table. First column will be user id data type will be inch then username password 50 then password password 50 
in order to save this table you can use the shortcut Control s or click on this save button here then name your table here i will name it as tbl user click on ok expand tables where you can see the newly created table right click on it then edit top 200 rows now we are going to add some test data into this table user id will be 1 user name will be user 1 then password will be 1 2 3 click enter to save this row that's it now back to visual studio when user click on this submit button we will check is there any user with given user name and password in our table tbl user for that we will create a click event of this button in order to create a click event type click then it will show new event handler option if you double click on that it will create a click event in the background in order to see the C sharp code behind right click then click on view code or you can use the shortcut F7 so here we have the submit button click event inside this we will check whether user is valid or not first of all I am going to create an object of SQL connection SQL connection for that we have to import the namespace system dot data dot sql client object name will be sql con equals new sql connection inside that we need to pass the connection string Below that, I will add a try catch block with finally block. Inside try block, I will check whether SQL connection is open or not. If SQL con dot stage connection stage dot closed. If it is closed, it will open the SQL connection by calling the function open. Inside catch block, we will show the error messages using the message box. Message box dot show. Inside that, we will pass the exception message. Ex dot message. In the finally block, we will close the SQL connection by calling the function close. Now let me declare my query here string query equals select count one from TBL user where username equals at username and password equals add password now let me create an object of SQL command SQL CMD equals new SQL command first parameter will be our query itself then SQL connection object SQL con Below that we will set the command type command type equals command type dot text then we need to pass the parameter value for username and password SQL CMD dot parameters dot add with value username at username 
as txt username dot text let me copy this line and paste below that and passing value of password parameter and pasting here in order to get the text from password box we can do something like this txt password dot password then we will declare in variable count equals convert to int 32 inside that we will execute this command sql sql cmd dot execute scalar execute scalar will return first row first column so we will get the count and we will convert that into in 32 if count equal to 1 we will open the main window for that user main window as dashboard equals new main window in order to open the window we can call dashboard dot show and we will close this window login window by calling the function this dot close if if count is not equal to one it means username or password is not correct but then we can show the message inside message box username or password is incorrect before running this program I would like to add a label into main window just to indicate it is dashboard for that double click on main window.xml and I will add a label here label content will be dashboard now let me run this program in order to check whether it is working or not for that click on this start button here or you can use the shortcut f5 so it will open our login window first of all i will enter invalid username and password then click on submit so it shows username or password is incorrect click on ok if I enter existing username and password, it should open our dashboard screen. Password will be 123, click on submit. That's it. In this tutorial, we have discussed how to create login screen in WPF applications using XAML. You can download this project from the link given below in video description with SQL script. Please be subscribed to my channel .net more for more awesome videos like this. Please like and share this video with your friends and colleagues so that they can benefit from this. Have a nice day. Bye.